Hey guys, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. It is 525, 526 in the evening on the 15th of October. Welcome to Vlogtober Day 16. Uh, I will admit I'm a little disappointed with myself, actually seriously disappointed with myself. Um, so we arrived this morning in Charlotte, like 7 something, 718, something like that. Then uh, it took a while to get the shuttle to the hotel. By the time I got in my room, took my uniform off, ate a little something, got in bed, it was nine o'clock. I meant to sleep for three hours. This is not unusual. If you know me, I have a hard time sleeping for three hours. I have to sleep for like as long as I have to. Well, I set three alarms, three to wake up so I could meet my crew downstairs and go to this Ethiopian restaurant. And I was so looking forward to it. I love these three girls. The, the, my coworkers are fantastic ladies, not girls. Love them. And it was gonna be a fantastic time. I, I woke up at five o'clock in the afternoon. I slept for exactly, like to the minute, eight hours, which sounds delicious and does feel nice. I'm very well rested, but it's five o'clock and my crew members waited for me, of course, and they messaged me, of course, because they're responsible, thoughtful, kind ladies, and uh, I was sleeping. So uh, I messaged them, sorry, you know, and they just said, hey, we're still, we're still here, you know, come on down, but they've already probably eaten or will be eating while I'm on the way. And it just doesn't make any sense to go all the way down there when they've finished, you know. So um, I am here in my room, which honestly usually is fine. But I really was looking forward to seeing my coworkers in this Ethiopian restaurant. So I'm, I'm, I'm bummed. I mean, my life isn't over, but I'm bummed because I was really looking forward to it. So, yeah, I'm disappointed. Um, so I was going to film that for my channel, of course. So rather that, we're going to look at my roller board. Like I, I'm so disappointed. I wanted Ethiopian food. Now I don't want my chicken cutlets in my bag. <sighs> Worst things will happen to me, right? Um, so womp womp. Let's look at my roller board. A couple days ago, I told you I was going to show you what was in my roller board. I threw everything in there. The bag was literally in the back of my car. I didn't even take it out of the car when I repacked it real quick. I just threw stuff in there that I thought I would need. And this is what my bag is going to look like for the next probably three months with changes to clothes. And I will include um, a, a packable jacket just to, to have something warm for uh, layovers and stuff. So let's look at my roller board and I'll show you what's in there. All right, let's, let's take a peek. Approaching the bag, we've got some tags, wrong one, and this has a uh, a little slip inside where I could put my information, but no one's ever going to look in that, so I didn't bother. Uh, don't touch me, and not yours, um, and so hopefully this will stop anyone from grabbing my bag by accident. This pocket in front, there's really nothing in here except for my mouse pad, which I'll be using in just a moment or two couple coins that must have uh, been thrown in there from being randomed and having to go through security. Up this top pocket here is some body lotion from a hotel, a pair of eyeglasses. These are from Warby Parker. They become sunglasses. They're transitions. Very handy when you live in Las Vegas. Bunch of pens, a toothbrush, and an old hotel key card. So yeah, I, I, you can see I really make the most of these pockets. Uh, this big pocket up on top, which is a laptop sleeve, I do take advantage of because I take, oops, I take this with me wherever I travel. It is my laptop. And just get a gander at this. This is my 19 inch roller board and this is my laptop. <laughs> yeah, it's a big, it's a monster. It weighs a lot. The poor shuttle driver always has to groan when he picks it up. <clears throat> so inside, this looks suspiciously organized, which is not what it usually looks like. I literally was, this was in the backseat of the car when I was throwing stuff in it. So 
uh, yesterday. Um, I pack one pack of sh one pair of shoes. In this case, it's still the navy loafers I had from the last trip. They're um, navy suede loafers that uh, crush easily and come back into nice shape, and they're very versatile. As long as the weather isn't going to be snowing uh, or terribly, terribly wet, I will take these and. When I'm done with those, I'll take a pair of simple leather loafers or something. This is a fairly versatile, colorful little polo um, button down. This is a another button down, a little different color. This is a uh, t-shirt, extra t-shirt, an extra pair of undies. And I can always um, wash my current pair in the sink if I need more than one pair of underwear. I'm not going to carry around multiple pairs of undies. This is a pair of um, Adidas pants that I really love. Now, they are navy. They're in a material that's very um, stretchy. I do hate the fact that it has Adidas up at the waistband and these little stripes, but if I'm not tucking my shirt in, I don't see those stripes. And they're, it's just a versatile pair of slim pants that I can wear with Shirts like those. Ta -da. So very, very versatile. They are fantastic to travel with. Again, I have to either have my shirt untucked because I don't want Adidas on my butt or uh, wear a jacket or some layering piece. Some uh, edamame seeds or some soybeans that I got the other day. This is emergency food, some Barilla pre-cooked pasta. This is emergency food in case I either didn't bring a lunch bag, I lose my lunch bag, I'm on a trip longer than I think I'm going to be on a trip. Some pesto that can go on that pasta. Uh, what else is in here? So my mouse for my laptop. This is a travel water kettle. I keep this in my bag so if I want to make tea or make some noodles or heat up some water for really whatever reason, this is it, and it's really just a little bit larger than my fist, honestly, so it's fairly easy to pack. So I take a, wa a, a little water kettle, a book I'm reading, uh, the last of the series of four, very excited. Now this is a really fantastic piece, and I carry this, I'll probably have this in my bag most of the next season, or one like it. This is a fashionable, whatever it is, um, woolen sort of um, lightweight but warm blazer slash jacket. It's a very soft blazer and I can wear this over those shirts and that pair of pants um, or with anything because it's really versatile. This is a pair of navy shorts in a very similar uh, material as the other pair. Ta -da. So those are the clothes I have in there. The power brick for my laptop. <laughs> uh, the tea. And my Sabbath heat mini oven, which I'll be using in a second or two after I talk to you. This is, this is a light. This is a very long, um, t very long cable for this light. It's from Ikea. It's a puck light. Let me show you what this looks like. I'll plug it in here, and you can see it's like a big bright LED light on a very long cord. So I can literally pull this out of the bathroom, turn it over, it's very bright. I can light up an area that's not near the bed to keep me awake, but when I have to wake up at 3 in the morning or 4 in the morning and it's still pitch black, I don't want lights on in the room, I can have that little puck light way away from my angle of view, my point of view, but it's enough light so I can stumble to the bathroom without, you know, tripping on the bag or I can sort of start, I can open my eyes and manage without being blinded by a bathroom light, you know, so I keep that with me. I used to have a little night light. But I like the fact that that's so long. I got it, Ikea. It's so long, I can position it where I want it. And um, so I keep that in my bag. That's very useful. And I keep a extension cord in my suitcase because in hotel rooms, there's often one 
outlet and it's never where you need it. So um, I keep that um, extension cord in my bag. I have to change extension cords though. This is no longer very useful because my laptop has one of those three prong things, you know, those like uh, appliance adapter things. And this does not work for that. So I have to get a new extension cord, but an extension cord is something I would always have in my suitcase. Something that's not in my bag as well, that is sitting on my garage floor, and I know exactly where it is, is an umbrella, a small packable umbrella. I would always have that in my bag. And something else that's usually in my bag that's not there right now is like, oh, look at my body. I, I am wearing undies. Yeah, undies. Um, I also carry a um, windbreaker, like a waterproof lightweight jacket because if I'm in Seattle or Portland or New York or wherever and it's raining or whatever. So I usually carry a small, thin, packable, water waterproof, water resistant um, little windbreaker. So that's also something I carry in there. And I think that's it. That's what's in my roller board. All right. Things I don't have to. Oh, my and my cosmetic bag, my toiletry kit. Um, I'm, I'm as a boy. Let's see. This is my toiletry kit right there, and that usually goes right on top. It usually goes right on top of my Sabbath heat, so I can put the heavier things at the bottom of my bag. So hopefully, it helps stop the bag from tip, you know, tip uh, tipping over. Um, so as a boy, I really don't have to carry like a curling iron and all sorts of brushes and a big toiletry kit and blah, blah, blah. So I'm able to pack more clothes, I think. Girls, ladies, you can pack a lot more clothes than I can because a lot of your clothes, loungewear, for example, is like skinny and like packable and like you can crumble it up to nothing. I watch Kat Nesbitt, you know, what she takes with her, she takes like, I don't know, it looks like yoga clothes and a hoodie. And she's got like 15 outfits, but me, I need more clothes than that. Um, let's see. So that's it. There you go. I'm going to throw some food in my hot lot, my uh, hot logic, my Sabbath heat, which I do prefer enormously over my hot logic, and um, heat up some food. I'm going to play some Starfield, and uh, my challenge, the big challenge, and one one of the reasons I'm disappointed with myself, is it's uh, five forty six. In the evening, I have a 6.30 shuttle a.m. So somehow I <laughs> I have to get to sleep tonight because I have a work I have work tomorrow, but I am wide awake. Wide awake. I mean like, I've had a full night's sleep. So I don't know what's gonna happen to me tonight with sleep, but uh, I'm gonna do my best. Oh, I might as well show you one more little hotel room hack. So I have that little night light. That for me is a little hack. This is something else I like to do. In my hotel room, I keep the, the room between 69 and 72. Right now it's at 72. I had it at 69 so I could sleep really comfortable. But the, the hotel blankets, there isn't an extra. There's no extra in the closet. But the hotel blanket and she are very thin. But it's kind of chilly in the room so you can't snuggle up. So what I do is I get towels. These are the towels in my bathroom. I, I get in bed and I lay one towel over my feet because while my body won't get cold, my feet always get cold. So I throw a towel on there, usually the one I'm going to use in the morning. And then today, because I was chilly, but wanted to snuggle a little more, I took the second big towel and draped that across my the top of my legs. And so that's my little Hotel room hack. When you keep your room cold, but your feet are cold, a towel, because there was no extra blanket. Blah, blah, blah. How exciting is this for Vlogtober, right? All right, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to eat something soon, and um, I'll probably see you tomorrow. All right, fly safe. Bye.